I just wanted to make a quick update video on the DualSense Edge um, and my experience with 8000 Hertz on PC. Um, so this is for the DualSense Edge or just any standard DualSense controller. It's the exact same thing. Um, so I want to start off by just showing that my software, because I see a lot of people um, running 8000 Hertz on their DualSense controllers, but they don't actually test it. Um, and so most people don't know that you actually need to use a specific USB port for the 8000 Hertz to work, um, from what I've heard. So be, be, because um, certain USB ports aren't capable of 8000 Hertz. Um, and so I just wanted to perform a few tests and give some feedback on my experience. So first thing I'm going to do just to prove that my software works is um, this is a test of it. So this is a stock DualSense edge um it doesn't matter if it's an edge or just a standard dual sense it's the exact same but this this is well actually yeah anyway this is a stock dual sense edge um we've got 947 hertz and then just to prove that it works um that the software works at least i'm going to set it to um 250 really quick 250 filter on device install service and then unplug and plug back in just proving that the software works here and then boom okay i see so 236 um so the software does work and i've done i've done these tests with the gamepad la uh, software and the um, joystick tester by john punch so but right now i'm just going to be using the john punch one because it's quicker and easier so yeah, so the software does work. And then see if I set it to 1000, install service, unplug, plug back in. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so, and we're back at 1000, 947. Um, and by the way, the DualSense Edge by default is actually 1000 Hertz by default. Um, and then the dual sense is 250 by default. That's the only difference. They're both apparently supposed to be overclockable to 8,000 Hertz. But from my experience, I've tested, so from, from what I've heard, certain USB ports aren't capable of 8,000 Hertz. And so what I did was I did this test. It, it took me like a really long time. I did this test, so let me show you, um, at 8,000 Hertz. So we go install service. I've seen some people say you have to go like this. But anyway, it's obviously on 8,000 now. Unplug, plug back in. Okay, and then just to make sure it's there. See, perfect, it's there. And then I open up my uh, joystick tester. And you'll see it's only 1,000 hertz, uh, 946. So we've got no improvement so far. And then I go to Gamepad LA. I'll just test in a different software, um, <clears throat> just to uh, just to prove that it's not the software. Okay, uh, nine hundred and thirty hertz. So um, we're not actually on eight thousand. And so what I've heard is that. It's a USB port thing. So I tested it with every USB port on my PC. That's eight USB ports. Um, it's a good PC of 4070 and a 13700F. Um, 32 gigs of RAM. Like it, it's a pretty good, pretty good PC. Um, and I, I tested it on eight different USB ports, like all eight USB ports. And, um, and I was not able to get an actual true 8000 Hertz on either of the softwares. Um, I also tested it with another USB cable. So I tested with two USB cables on uh, eight different USB ports. So a total of 16 tests. And I was not able to get 8,000 hertz um, on my tester. And so I was wondering if maybe it's um, like maybe it's a cable. I don't know if it's a cable, but I tested with two different cables. Um, so basically like, just in my opinion, mice, like most mice aren't even 8,000 Hertz. So why would PlayStation allow their controllers to be 8,000 Hertz? Like what? Like that's really 
high level technology and there's really no reason for them to do that even so i de I, I personally so far i think that the 8000 hertz thing is not real um like 1000 hertz is more than enough and I, from my understanding it'd be really expensive for them to put like for them to make the hardware capable of 8000 hertz because like there's very few mice that are even capable of that and typically controllers are like years if not decades behind the technology of mice and so that's my opinion on that um let me know if i'm doing something wrong or uh like if there's anything else i can do like i said i tried eight different ports i was thinking the one thing i was, I was thinking was doing uh like ordering a USB-C to USB-C cable and then plugging plugging it into the USB-C port in my PC. And that's the only thing that I didn't try. That'd be it'd be interesting to see if that works. But um oh, and then the other thing was is like maybe the maybe my testing softwares, maybe these softwares aren't even capable of like of picking up 8000 hertz. So maybe it is 8000 hertz, but the software itself just isn't capable of measuring 8,000 hertz. So maybe maybe that's a problem. But I haven't seen any improvement uh, from default to 8,000 hertz. I'm definitely going to... Um, I'm going to test it in-game just to see if it feels like 8,000 hertz. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I don't think I am doing anything wrong, but let me know what you think.